I would like to start with a poem that is, it's an older poem, Canary. Billie Holiday's burned voice had as many shadows as lights. A mournful candelabra against a sleek piano, the gardenia her signature under that ruined face. Now you're cooking drummer to bass, magic spoon, magic needle. Take all day if you have to with your mirror and your bracelet of song. Fact is, the invention of women under siege has been to sharpen love in the service of myth. If you can't be free, be a mystery. Thank you. The next two poems were poems that I wrote 35 years ago. Uh, and sadly, they really do relate to events today, so I thought I'd read them. Teach us to number our days. In the old neighborhood, each funeral parlor is more elaborate than the last. The alleys smell of cops, pistols bumping their thighs, each chamber steeled with a slim blue bullet. Low rent balconies stacked to the sky, a boy plays tic-tac-toe on a moon crossed by TV antenna, dreams he has swallowed a blue bean. It takes root in his gut, sprouts and twines upward, the vines curling around the sockets and locking them shut. And this sky, knotting like a dark tie, the patroller, disinterested, holds all the beans. August, the mums nod past, each a prickly heart on a sleeve. When slaves were um, kept in close quarters, of course, uh, illness was rampant and cholera was a particularly virulent uh, occasion, I guess you could say, and there are various ways to cure them of it, cholera. At the outset, hysteria. Destruction, the conjurers intoned. Some drag themselves off at night to die in the swamp, to lie down with the voices of mud and silk. I know moon rise, I know star rise. Against orders, the well and almost well were assembled and marched into the wood. When a dry open place was found, halted. The very weak got a piece of bread and fires were built, though the evening was warm. Said the doctor, you'll live. I walk in the moonlight, I walk in the starlight. Who could say but that it wasn't anger had to come out somehow? Pocketed filth, the pouring away of pints of pale fluid. I walk in the graveyard, I walk through the graveyard. Movement, dark and silken. The dry skinned conjurers circling the fire. Here is pain, they whispered, and it is all ours. Who would want to resist them? By camplight, their faces had taken on the frail finality of ash. I lie in the grave and stretch out my arms. Well, that was too much for the doctor. Strip them, he ordered. And they were slicked down with bacon fat and superstition strapped from them to the beat of the tam-tam. Those strong enough rose up to and wailed as they leapt. It was a dance of unusual ferocity. And I'll end with a poem, a fairly new poem. My, my daughter, when she was young, used to walk around the house singing, Nobody Loves Me But the Spring Cricket. I don't know who he was. The spring cricket considers the question of negritude. 
I was playing my tunes all by myself. I didn't know anybody else who could play along. Sure, the tunes were sad, but sweet too, and wouldn't come until the day gave out. You know that way the sky has of dangling her last bright wisps? That's when the ache would bloom inside until I couldn't wait. I knelt down to scrape myself clean and didn't care who heard. Then came the shouts and whistles, the roundup into jars, a clamber of legs. Now there were others, tumbled, clouded. I didn't know their names. We were a musical lantern. Children slept to our rasping sighs. And if, now and then, one of us shook free and sang as he climbed to the brim, he would always fall again, which made them laugh and clap their hands. At least then, we knew what pleased them and where the brim was. Thank you. Rita Dove.